and I'm so excited today for our second series of Beyond the Curve. Today we're going to tour a beautiful road design. So we're going to head on in and meet Carla. because I love color and so I was like we were just sisters born from another mother is what I always told her but Aww. she loves to entertain and she's a very gracious host and she loves to have uh, baby showers wedding showers and I, I knew that about her right away so I knew this foyer needed to be impressive and also handle the gifts that were coming in the home so and so we did I these. love those yeah tell me about we these. did these four custom benches that we had templates made up done for her and it's in purple mohair and then they're piped in a lighter lavender uh, uh, velvet and then this is honey cherry wood oh, and she says she really does use them like that every day the details are just i mean yeah there's no detail left untouched in here so that's, that's for sure and so in the wallpaper is day Gournier, which oh. is just stunning and we had the ceiling of uh, Venetian plaster, um, this ye vibrant yellow to give her the color that she wanted. Really beautiful. Thank you. I love it. You know, when you walk in, it's cheerful, right? You go into a lot of homes and it can be damp sometimes. And you walk in and just have a vibrant uh, yellow. It just makes you yeah, happy. Thank you. Yeah. And we decided to go for it and it right away. We didn't waste any any <laughs> color at all. Any color, and I love how you walk into this room and you're completely transported into a new color palette. Well, uh, when we sat down and started the home, she said, I want every room to have lots of color, and but I want every room to speak for itself. And so I said, well, let's do this because it can be a little tricky. So what we'll want to do is make the house have the flows, the house flow correctly of each room. So this was really fun getting to design this with her. And her favorite color is this blue God, teal. Blues. And so I wanted to really bring this in. Um, a, it's a youthful but yet timeless look for her. And then this table here is an antique, 17th century antique Asian table that's just stunning, it's bamboo. And I, I love finding antiques and vintage finds that you would not see in any other home and so the coffee tables that are off here to the side um, we had these custom made and this is macassar wood oh, which is just a beautiful, beautiful the grain is it's gorgeous it's really beautiful wood. so i wanted every little detail that when someone walked in and went wow this is i don't know if the sofa is my favorite <laughs> i don't know if the table is my favorite I, actually the rug is my favorite. I can't oh, even. I love, I love how it picks up on all the colors. The rug is really beautiful. So, oh, it, it gave it gave us a great starting point to then build up from here, yep. and so and she has some of her um, family things in the bookshelves. Oh, I love and the so book. we had them uh, grass cloth. So way to mind. I love yeah. the grass cloth and the ceiling. I mean, look at the ceiling. That yeah. just that was a fun thing to do. That's so fun. So we debated painting the whole room a certain color. And I was like, this is a great neutral palette for us. So let's go ahead and just wallpaper the inserts. And so she's really youthful too in I her taste. That. So I love listening to my clients and finding out what their expectations are and what they're inspired by. And I said, you can have it all. We're just going to put it together for you. Absolutely. And, so, and you did a great job with that. Mm -hmm. Now this room, y'all, is, is my absolute favorite. <laughs> I love, love, love Thank it. Thank you. And the first thing that's, that, that stands out, besides all the blue and white, which you all know I love, is this carpet. Oh yes. my gosh, tell, tell us more. It about is this. beautiful. So, this was custom made, and we came up with the design. And so, we actually worked on this quite a bit, and we were trying to find the exact colors that would really 
just soothe. I wanted to give her a very soothing, peaceful room because she has so much color going in right. in all the other rooms. And it just seemed appropriate that it was right off the garden. Absolutely. And so I told her, let's bring nature in. And you've got these the outside. beautiful windows right here. Oh, look and at the outside here. I mean, and the planners. I know Matthew Murray, he did the landscaping of this house. Uh, he and he did, did a great, great job. job. It's just fun to all the light that comes in. It's beautiful. And this is kind of her room. I wanted to make it about her room. So that's why I gave her this bust. We looked for this bus. We found it in California at an art dealer. And so it's a very feminine touch. And this center table is um, 17th century gilded. Um, gold. And I said, I want your kids to actually fight about these pieces. Right. <laughs> That's know, how you know it's good. Right? Yeah, that, that you're going to pass these down to your kids. And each child is going to want them. But they were actually, this was a table that they were in these grand, grand antebellum homes and they're called center tables, which meant you can walk all around wow. them. That's and great. so. And then this here, the, and this, oh, I thank you. Gracie. This is Gracie. Everybody needs a Gracie Everybody in their home. Needs a Gracie. It's timeless, it's classic, and it's elegant. Okay. And it just seems oh. so appropriate to have brought it, brought it into this garden room. It, it makes sense because you really just look outside and see potted boxwood and you see you know there's yeah. beauty everywhere. You see a lot of you. And a lot of a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of right? And a lot of just I love the how you incorporated pink in here as well. Yes. I think that was kind of an unexpected twist for me and I, I love it. I oh, love thank you. So th these are actually 18th century um, antique chairs. I found them vintage but then I put the Schumacher Garden of Persia mm. fabric and I just Love once that again fabric. the femininity. Yeah, but it's not offensive where a man would be like, "Oh, this I don't feel like this is." It's, no, it, it's, it's just so soothing. subtle and yeah. soothing, and it, the way it just kind of melds together, right. I think, really adds to kind of the oh. juxtaposition of the blue and the white of the texture. Thank you. And the so, I yes. mean, that's so I wanted unexpected. to put elements of something that is update to now to now, so that I'm just telling her that you can put old pieces in with new. And it just adds um, a sense of things are refreshed mm -hmm. and they're updated, but you can just add beautiful elements that are old as well. It doesn't so, have to all be cookie cutter, right? No, that's not at all. And that's how really people truly do live because they actually inherit vintage pieces from their family or pieces are passed down. And I was like, it's not really realistic to just have one certain look throughout your home. So these are beautiful Biedemeyer consoles mm, uh, from Paris, and they're just stunning. And so I just love how it all kind of came together. And Absolutely. We did light, light wood. Light wood. I think that was really pretty. And I love, I can tell I love the <laughs> owner because she has candy everywhere, and it just it makes me so happy. She makes me happy, the too. Good, good people do that. <laughs> I had to stop myself of coming over here and eating right because <laughs> I was putting on weight. I was like, I gotta stop. Oh well, and this to me is like oh, thank you. Blue and white, ooh, just overload. I love yes. it. Yes. So there needed to be a great focal point when right. you walked in here. Um, the room is actually not centered. Oh. So you're so right, it is not. It's, it's not, not centered. If you look this way, um, you can see that it's sort of all to the right here. Right. That is interesting. So the whole house actually has no hallways. It was, um, the architect was doing it after uh, Parisian homes that they don't, they, one room flows directly into another I room. I love that. Just and so I knew there. this was a grand wall that really needed the attention that it should have had. And this is 17th century, and I loved it right away just because it is, it's a lighter piece, it's French walnut, and then that marble is Ugh. very, very rare that's on the top it's of it. It's really beautiful, and, and also unex almost in a way unexpected too, just in the tones that it brings out, but it just works, it just oh, works. Thank it's you. A talent with color, for and, sure. And the mirror is from Schumacher, oh. which I just absolutely love. I Love I, I love Schumacher, and then to add the classical blue and white yeah. china, as you know, I it's like it, it, and it will more, never ever. The more blue and white, the better. Well, right. let's keep going. Although I could be in this room forever, um, I just want to sit here. You all can go. All the guys can go watch football. I can <laughs> sit there. 
I mean, this is a beautiful. So home. this room right here, I wanted, as I was saying, I was trying to bring the garden into the house, and this wallpaper just seemed very appropriate to me. It's a great neutral, and it's called Twig by Schumacher. And it's just, once again, I was like, it gives it just a nice neutral palette, but it brings nature inside the house. And, and, and these are Louis, uh, Louis mirrors and the French consoles. Debbie Looms up against gave it another element of just details every room you walk into. Well, it's so beautiful because the architecture is so stately and, and yet, so you're incorporating, I feel like, a lot of really beautiful antiques in that way, but yet you're adding fresh patterns, bold colors, making it unexpected, yes. right? So she had, um, she had 22 p architectural prints that are right up here against the wall, but they were, they were framed very old. And so I said, we can refresh these, these are gorgeous. Let's put them on this light blue mat and go ahead and frame them in this gold bamboo, which updates them a little well, bit. Well, on gold bamboo frames, you cannot go wrong. I love about any, about any and everything in gold bamboo frames. <laughs> and it's, and you know what, it's gonna, that's gonna be timeless. And absolutely, absolutely. This, and, and I love how you just decided to take the wallpaper and go all the way up to the second yes. floor. It just, uh, it, it gives it, it goes with the caliber of the it's home. It, just, it, it, it deserved it. So, um, and then, giving you something of an update with fresh look is the gold wood column at the top of the stair. And my daughter was at College of uh, Santa Clara in California, and Carmel has beautiful mm. art galleries, and found that sculpture, and it's called uh, Endless Celebration. That's so fun, so, that's great. That's where I mix. The, the mix of the old oh, and the new, right. and fresh, things and discoveries. I love this. And this yeah. room has so much light and is also really cheerful. Again, I, I can't help but look down at the, this carpet. This oh, rug, should I say. This is beautiful. This took nine months to make. Wow. And it is just one of the greatest focal points. I think <laughs> this was her favorite thing it's when we started. Incredible. And she loves natural text, uh, textiles. And I said, let's put it down on the ground and enjoy it because this is just so beautiful within itself. And it's exposed, which is so cool. I don't know if you all can see, there's um, it's literally exposed right there. The wood is exposed through the carpet and over here. It's a really, I, it's so unique. I, it's so much fun. And she travels a lot and has gone to Africa quite a great deal. So adding this, this sense of jute, uh, it's a jute rug that's hand woven. And then I wanted to give her some elements of her travels that she's gone on. Well, she so, loves Africa. The patterns you picked for the yeah. pillows are perfect. It's a clearance house. Oh. And they do great, vibrant, but refreshed colors. And so I wanted to give her lots of um, just different textiles and colors in here. And I decided to go with yellow because you've got all the pine wood all around the, the room. And, um, created the, you know, had these abstract art as well, but we had this white piano, piano, and I love it, but I, when we found that piece of art, and that just goes that perfectly to tie it in together, it, it went really, really well, and then this um, coffee table, this octagon coffee table that's from India, wow. we painted that a little white to bring in the sense that white was in the room. It's just light and airy and refreshing but comfortable right you don't feel it's like some white rooms you feel like oh my gosh I don't want to spill anything I don't want to mess up I I really though can't wait to show this oh okay just a quick peek because we got to keep moving on okay but come on out back oh, here on this beautiful day I mean I feel like I'm in Italy right now <laughs> that's exactly I the feel feel like we're giving her. That's the Sorry. that she was in Positano um, every day I wanted her to feel wake up and be like am I on vacation and I don't want to leave my house so that's actually my goal for all my clients and so it doesn't feel beautiful it's just here it's, just, it's <laughs> so nice out here I mean this is where you want to be we, we might have to just tell her we're staying <laughs> and I love the ceiling how you painted the ceiling so um, they paint color this, um, they think paint that blue, the, right? they yeah. they think that it is um, the sky so, so they don't they don't 
ever uh, build nests. I love that. And I in Charleston, South Carolina. That's right. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they call it hang blue. Somebody on on there might correct me otherwise. But I we'll go back this way. And let's see. Oh, I just want to make yourself at home, right? You know, it's so much fun that you see what I see. Oh, so it's really fun. Thank you. Well, of course. No, I think just I love adding different uh, pieces of wood also. So like here we have the pine and then here is sycamore and over back by the fireplace is broad wood. So just every time I can add different, different textures or textures. Textures. woods. I think that's great. And here is the kitchen. I love so, this. This was a really fun spot. But um, she is adorable and she's like, I don't really like want to have a ton of people in my kitchen always. I just want to make it really, really fun. And so I so we made the island the focal point. And this is so neat. What is it's great. It's granite. It's granite. It's called Emerald Granite. I can't believe this is granite. It is and I love how you just did a huge chunk. Of yes. I wanted it to make a bold statement, and there's where she has her color. Oh, okay. And so then we added in these inserts this custom marble, marble yellow. We picked the yellow oh, because yeah. it comes off the it comes bed. Off the room. Yeah. Um, wallpaper and the insets and the ceiling. And so she has a pop of color right there. That's great. Did you just get the ceiling there? It's so pretty. Um, ceiling is lovely. And then I love. I already am seeing boxwood. <laughs> I'm seeing boxwood. I love this. And bright, and all of the um, well, trellis lattice work is just. Really it was great. all custom done for this this room, and I would say that they spend a lot of time in here, have their morning coffee, Absolutely. and it should. They have grown children, so they're grown, but they also wanted to have the house feel like if they all come home, everyone's got a spot. Right, right. And so, so of course, for the two of them, I bet they probably just love sitting <laughs> here having coffee. Forget the table. There's right. a pop up right here. This I, is great. I, I always ask them, what's the favorite corner of your, what's the favorite spot of your home? And they're like, we just rotate. Oh. And so that's really what I love knowing. And that. I love the light fixture in here too. Oh, it's really pretty. We had that custom made for that's them really from uh, Colleen and Company. And they're fabulous. Oh. Uh, so kind. And I found those vintage uh, artichoke lamps. Oh my goodness. Uh, Murano glass artichoke lamps. And then I love just having, I found these finials that are mother of pearl um, clover. And I, so I love adding accents like that. And what I did was they were just on a gold base, but I give them height by putting the acrylic stands. I, yeah, I noticed there. how you even give a lot of the acrylic stands to give height, and I think that's a really great idea. I Thank you. My little way I do it kind of inexpensively is I do a lot of coffee table books right now, but I acrylic stands would be a better way to give height than well, the coffee table books. Christina, <laughs> I can help you yeah. anytime. Okay. I'll be calling on you. Well, let's keep going. This is kind of the, the hallway so this is the butler's pantry, and um, it didn't really have any life in it. Well, you know, I gave it grass cloth, the yellow marbled wallpaper is up there, and then here begins color. I love this it. This is her more formal. I love this color green. It's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. It's a custom color. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, you got to hire Carla to find out what it is. <laughs> yes. And so then you walk now into her dining room, and so we... We've, if, I don't know if y'all have noticed, we've not gone through a hallway. I, it's amazing to me how we haven't gone through any hallways, but yet everything flows so beautifully. And that was the goal, is that, but every room speaks for itself. And so, and it get, every room has a story to itself. It has a different color. And so, she, of her travels, I just wanted her to feel like she was on vacation every day. And if she did go on vacation, I wanted her to come home and say, oh, I love being home. Right. So these chairs, I love these chairs. And when we first found them and saw them, they were all dark brown. But that's not my client. Right. And so <laughs> I had it, this vibrant yellow, and then it plays off really nicely from the foyer. Right. And, and also she had, um, she loves traditional fine art. And when I was in Carmel, we found this piece 
This one. And okay. she absolutely loved it. Once again, it's like bringing the garden oh, into the, garden. the house. I feel like I'm in London somewhere. It is. It's oh, the no. Bay of Essex. Oh. Essex. In, in, the, in, in England. Right. And it's just go and so the little bunny is right there. Aww. She loves those. And the artwork is just absolutely stunning. And I said, once again, you're going to have to like, your children are going to fight over this piece. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about this, fi this mantle? Isn't this beautiful? And so this is... This is so neat. I mean, look at the, at the detail. It's an antique that was brought in. Wow. So, um, that once again, this is a vintage find that we end up trying to incorporate into the house. That's really and beautiful. the artwork above it, I wanted to make it a little more abstract. It's very so that she has, <laughs> <laughs> So we got to like, uh, design, we got to design this together, her and, her and I, and I said, and so Zinn, who is a graduate from SMU, who I love dearly, he's an incredible artist and he teaches students now. Um, many, many people in Dallas and he's a wonderful person. Wow. We got to sit there and say, let's put, incorporate blue and white ch um, china pattern. Let's go ahead and put her favorite flowers in there, hydrangeas and magnolias. And the Murano sconces on the side those are vintage Those as are well. beautiful. Those are absolutely stunning. And I love all the paneling. You just tell the home is very well built. And then the design just complements it, but it also is invigorating. Oh, it really you. is. It feels and, refreshing. Well, and that's the actually the reflection of my client. She's very uh, has a lot of life and personality and is just such a kind person. I wanted her home to reflect that. Well, I think it certainly does. I'm so excited that you walked us through today. This was really just beautiful and fun and just a breath of fresh air. Thank so, you, and thank you so much. I'm honored that you guys were able to come today and be with me, and it's been such a pleasure getting to know you oh, as well. Well, thank yay, you. thank well, you, and there might be a giveaway coming soon, so absolutely. stay tuned for that. But thank you so much, Carla, and we're so excited, and thank you for joining another Beyond the Curve. We'll see you all later.